Bruce Campbell. I lead the program, CGR program on climate change, agriculture and food security. This brings together the largest collection of scientists from all different spheres working on climate change, agriculture and food security. We found that Australian uh, policymakers and scientists are very interested to collaborate with us. I think it's, there's four reasons for this. The first is the extreme events that have hit Australia in the last decade or so. We, we work on all the agricultural technologies and practices and policies that can counter such extreme events. So we found a lot of interest from scientists in, all, in the various uh, index-based insurance schemes that we're implementing, as an example. The second reason is the progressive climate change. Uh, so what's going to happen in the coming decade? Uh, climate change is expected to really hit Australia hard in the coming decades and thus scientists and policy makers in the agricultural area are really interested in transformative adaptation. At the moment most of our adaptation has been so-called incremental adaptation where we do small things to counter climate change. Going forward some drastic actions may be needed like shifting uh, production areas from one ge geographic, geographical area to another. So we've got various uh, studies on the go throughout the world looking at transform transformative adaptation and we find that the Australians are really interested to participate in these and to understand what's happening. Um, the third area that we, uh, we find there's an interest in collaboration is on the whole food system. Australia is a major player in the global food system and as we've seen in the past decade uh, it's been characterized by some bad price instability. So we work on uh, mechanisms to try and stabilize prices. The other issue with climate change is that it's expected to increase uh, displacement and migration of people and these are issues which are very close to uh, Australia's concerns. So this is another whole area of collaboration. Um, the fourth reason um, perhaps relates to our hosting of major global events and various international processes. So for example over the last two years we hosted the Commission on Sustainable Agriculture and, F and Climate Change was led by Sir John Beddington, the UK chief scientist, and one of the 13 commissioners was uh, the chief executive officer of CSIRO in Australia. So this gives a forum for um, Australians to shape the global food agenda. Uh, other examples include our work at the, all the climate conventions where we host various events and we've always found a keen interest by, for example, the negotiators from Australia to participate in such events and to, and to have speaking slots at such events where they can showcase what Australia is doing about climate change. Um, so I, 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 with the coming, in the coming years with climate change digging deeper and impacts getting more severe, I think collaboration will only increase between CCAPs and uh, Australian scientists and policymakers. Thank you.